I'm Fia from Sweden and I live at the Balanced View Center in Sweden now since 2010 but it was like a gradual coming there. I was meeting the training in 2008 and uh, I was quite skeptical at first. I thought I had like my set of uh, practice, like it was working okay for me. So I was kind of ready to settle for okay. <laughs> but then I saw some changes in my friends that were really, they were so clear, like something was really shining through, through them. They were still exactly the same as always. Uh, but they felt stable somehow, so I, I thought maybe, maybe I could <laughs> try this out. And uh, so I saw a video with Candice and uh, I recognized just um, in seeing that uh, a sense I remember since I was a kid, like it felt so natural, like I was just part of nature, like I was completely fine as I was. So I really, I really, I, it was like coming home in a way. So uh, I started to listen to downloads a lot and uh, we also started a couple of friends to meet each other, like coming together just reading texts to two or three of us. And uh, I was so supportive, I, I, I could really see that I, I was so helped in all my daily activities. like. I could even have my MP3 or um, I iPod in my ear when I was working with different things and just have it as a background and I felt so much more supported and stable in that. Um, I think shyness and fear has been my, my biggest things in life and um, just trying to be someone, trying to figure out who I was and, and trying to find an identity and never never being able to actually and uh, just ending up in a lot of thinking, 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 thinking and trying to figure that out for myself. So I wrote a lot, like I wrote a diary every day, almost three pages and I kind of wanted to reflect on what was happening and see what was happening and trying to find the answers. But I, I was really like going in circles all the time. So I saw that, I saw that what I was going in circles. And here, I just have the support to, I can ask all these questions. I can ask them to my trainer and I, I often I don't even have to ask them. I can hear them in trainings from other participants. And it's so supportive just to, to have that, to see that we all have the same questions somehow in different ways, in different like colors and <laughs> shapes, but it's still the same. Um, and it felt so, just feels so normalizing. It's been such, especially here in Goa now this season to coming here, I came here in November, starting to set up the center. And uh, it was so great to work together like this and, and to just see how easeful it was even in heat, even when scrubbing toilets with, yeah, all kinds of dirt and sweeping things and it was all, we were just doing it together so effortlessly and, and happily. And no matter what the data was coming. And uh, I used to, to kind of withdraw myself from group, from working in groups. I wanted to do things on my own and just working with papers and <laughs> things that didn't involve people so much. <laughs> just to get away from all the data that was appearing when I was meeting people and, and trying to do things in groups. But here, and also at the center in Sweden where I'm living, it's been such a great experience to see how, how we can work together. And that I don't have to get caught up in all the things that comes for me, like anxiety and stress and anger or whatever it is, trying to replace or damp it down or escape it somehow. 
But I'm always so supportive to see that it's fine. It's fine to just let it flow on by and, and let it appear and, and really sense it and in, in that openness. And it's so great. It's so... <laughs> I just came back to myself <laughs> as, I, as I am. Um, and uh, yeah, my trainer has been like such a support in that. Just trying very slightly with short, short, short emails in the beginning. It's, hi, I'm fine. <laughs> How are you? <laughs> and, then, and then gradually just letting myself more and more be more and more open to her and, and, and be supported. And, and she has been very supportive in that process, of course, just letting me be as I am. And so, yeah. Other mainstays are the short moments. <laughs> yeah, in the beginning, I think short moments for me was just listening to talks. I, I didn't really care so much for trying to do them because I didn't. I was just c getting caught up in all the stories about if I do did them right or not. But um, then, then I saw gradually that I, I can be more relaxed, and I started with that actually just relaxing relaxing and see what's it's there and that it might not be so frightening as I thought it would be. And then gradually it became more and more like the afflictive data could be more more friendly, more accepted <coughs> or more just, I could just let them be, just let them shine. Mm, yeah, actually I saw that the other day when I was going here at the past, I was just filled with this anxiety, this burning sensation that I had for a couple of days and I didn't know what it was and I tried to figure out what it was but then I, when I just, suddenly I just could just relax, relax in it and that was, then it was fine. <laughs> <laughs> so all kinds of data come up all the time like new sensations and it's, yeah, yeah it's great to have that always coming back to that. <laughs> 